Cherie, she was a good person. She was a good person. She was misunderstood. She was a country girl. So this life up here was too fast for her. And dirt, dirt brown. And uh, they, they ended up dating. My son was a good boy. He didn't bother nobody. He loved living. And that's why I want justice for my son. On uh, November the 30th, 2017, at about 11.15 p.m., uh, officers received a call in reference to a shooting on Woodbriar Avenue. Um, when they get there, they found Derek Brown and Sharice Haley with multiple gunshot wounds. Um, they did everything they could to save them. However, they were both pronounced deceased there on the scene. Derek and Sharice moved to Greensboro because I was here. And we both, all three of us worked together and I always looked out for them. But you know, they branch off and start doing their own thing once they start having kids. But Derek, he would be the type, if he see somebody side of the road, he would help them. He'd change the tie and they'd be like, how much I owe you? Like, nothing, you know, I just see you again. They would see you like, that's your brother. Like, that's my brother. Like, well, he helped me change my tie. And he went to the store and got gas from him. That's a good young man. So he always would try to help people if he could. I want people to know that my brother was a loving father a friend, um, he was all around family guy, just as my brother and mother spoken about earlier. From all appearances, Derek um, was doing everything he could to provide for his children. Um, he was doing things the right way. And like I said, he was just doing the best he could with the circumstances he was given. Cherie, she was a sweet girl, but she was very, 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 very outspoken. And, uh, and she just spoke her mind. She was an outspoken person. She loved her mama. She loved me. And she had two kids, um, Dirt, and um, I call him DJ. And uh, he had a daughter, got a daughter named uh, Mackenzie. That's the baby. And uh, she loved both of her kids. And, uh, but she was a good person. Uh, same thing with Sharice. Um, she was, again, she was doing everything she could to provide for her kids and um, just make sure that they had a good home and, and that her and Derek did the best they could to, to co-parent together. The home where the incident happened, it was Derek's home. Um, from all appearances, it, it seemed that Sharice had come over to bring some, some clothing for the children and they were gunned down there in the, in the house. Both kids was in the house when the murder happened and um, it was just rough because, you know, the kids were scared, they was running, and, you know, it was just a rough spot for them, for both parents to get killed in front of them. And it just put a toll on them because, you know, whoever would kill a parent, both parents in front of their kids and then run off, that's kind of, you know, really rough. Just It just says alone, you know, about them. They would just turn the shoes around that would happen to them. How would they feel? Whoever killed him, they killed him. Killed my baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Derek was everything to me. And I want whoever done it, I want justice. I got him in the Bible and I know God gonna work it out. He gonna work it out for me. Cause I pray each and every day for that boy, that justice will come. Not only for my son, but the girl too. You know, I'm praying for justice for both because that's what I want, justice. We deserve that much closure. Me, my mom, my, my, my dad, his children, you know, the Haley's family. My heart hurts for both families. And closure is all we ask. She gone, Derek gone. And everybody just going, blowing it with the wind and the paper still out here, living their life, doing what they doing and my baby gone. Derek and, and Sharice didn't deserve this. Um, they were doing the best they could uh, to raise their kids. Um, this was just unnecessary and we need all the help we can to hold uh, the person or, or people accountable uh, to do this and get justice for, for their children. Sometimes I have this motion when I go out in the yard, I see his stuff, his cars, and I see him, you know, Sometimes I just sit in my car and just look. I say, wonder what he would do if he was been home now. What would he have been doing, you know? I'm so, I'm hurt, I'm angry, I'm mad, I'm just upset, I don't know what to do. I can't sleep, 
<laughs> I'm just going, arguing with everybody. I just can't deal with it. I'm seeing the doctor, everything, and it just, I just want people to just go ahead and find the man that killed the baby. And just, maybe I'll get over that, but I'll never forget, I'll never get over my baby. Never. This shirt is the last picture that me and my brother actually took together. This picture meant a lot to me because this was my daughter's third birthday party. And the day that my brother took his last breath, this is the photo that he actually shared on Facebook. And he left a message to me wanting me to know I was loved. We just need one or two good leads to come in um, to help us. Uh, somebody who, who saw something, who may have not reported something um, initially, uh, we just need something like that to, just to go on. Um, the best way to get information to me is Crime Stoppers or they can contact me directly. Um, I'll, talk, I'll talk to anybody, anytime, anywhere, any place. Anybody that know anything, they just need to like, come up off of it. If you know any information, please contact the Greensboro Police Department. And I always love my son, no matter what. From day to day, I carry him in my heart. It's hard. I've been through a lot. Ever since my daughter died, everybody said, Mabel, you done changed. Well, I'm quite sure you will change if you lost your child. You know what I'm saying? But everybody like, well, why? You know what? You don't know my heart. You don't know how I feel. You have not lost a child. So until then, you need to hush. But this Valentine's Day passed, and it made me a big heart before he passed and he told me, he said, Mama, so this big heart that I'm making you, so it's just like my heart. And every year I put it out and I said, that's my son. I talked to Sharice every day, all day. Middle of the night, three, four o'clock in the morning, she'd be on the phone. I miss him. I miss talking to him on the phone. 